If you think about the main risk factors for disease across the world, the most important ones tend to be related to um, diet and physical activity. So it's very clearly the case that nutrition plays a key role in impacting upon health outcomes, both in the short and the long run. We run a variety of different forms of teaching, um, your lectures, your workshops, um, small group tutorials, um, and also a, a large range of practicals across all the modules as well. Our degrees are accredited externally by the Association for Nutrition, which is our national professional body, and it means two things for our students, really. The first thing it means is that they can be confident when they come here that the degree is externally validated and it's, it's like a kite mark of quality. And the second thing is that when they graduate, they don't have to do the work of showing they've got all the skills and competencies that a nutritionist needs, because we've done that for them. So this degree is quite flexible, so if you prefer sports, obviously you can have three modules of sports science. If you prefer nutrition, you can have three modules of nutrition at a fourth. And if you're still not sure, you can pick one of each and have two modules of sport, two modules of nutrition. So it gives you that flexibility. co activities we offer are varied. They range from uh, inviting guest speakers to cover particular topics of interest to uh, graduate in nutrition. We also run cook school. Uh, we also invite students to facilitate activities as part of the University Health Week. Some of the other activities are external to the university, so we work closely with timetabling to ensure that there, are, there is space in the students' timetables for them to attend national events of interest to their career, such as Food Matters Life and Fresh Careers Fair. It's a science degree, so of course the science facilities are really important and we have all the kind of hard science labs here, but we also have a bespoke sports science suite with lots of different equipment for measuring body composition. We also have a bespoke nutrition kitchen where our students can use a whole load of different tools. The facilities are really great in Kingston. We have labs for pretty much everything. We get to use bod pods as well to learn about body composition. So that is also another um, interesting thing that I haven't really seen before. I like the fact that the nutrition module itself is small and the other th three modules that I'm currently studying at the moment in my second year, they're quite big so I get to interact with other science pathways. Also it gives me an opportunity to go into research which I think is quite interesting. What I like most about the uni is definitely the support we get because there is support for literally anything. Your lecturers are always there for you, to support you. I chose to study at Kingston because I wanted to live in London but I didn't want to have the side where it would be too busy for me. So especially in Kingston you've got the River Thames on the side and you've got nice places to walk so that was one of the main reasons why I chose Kingston. I originally I was doing biology and I decided that I wanted to talk to the lecturers beforehand to gain insight on the course and they were really helpful so that's what made me want to join. When I look at the point of graduation and you look at students, what they were and what they are at their point in time. So you started off with students and what you end up with uh, colleagues. Because the skills are so varied and applicable to so many different career pathways, it's really nice that you don't have to be pigeonholed. So you can take a nutrition qualification and you can literally go anywhere with it.